So that's the pressures that they're facing. So how are best-in-class organizations overcoming these pressures? So there's really three key areas that the best-in-class have identified as their key actions for here's how we're going to win in this game. And that's real-time visibility, improving inventory planning, and improving demand sensing. So best-in-class companies are 20% more likely than all other organizations to provide real-time visibility into sales and service levels across the organization. Now, what this allows the organization to do is to measure the impact of their business in real time. So what basically organizations are able to look at transactions as they're coming in and measure that against their predetermined goals, whether it's daily, monthly, weekly, quarterly goals. See how the organization is performing across a number of metrics, whether it's operational, financial, or customer metrics. Then they're able to make decisions on changes they need to make in real time. Now, this type of visibility aids in a number of areas, obviously in the pricing area, but also in the inventory area. If you know what your service levels need to be and how your sales are running, you're going to have a better idea of the inventory, on-hand inventory that you need. You're also going to have a better idea of the number of employees or associates working at the, at the location that you're going to need. So the, the, the visibility really is a driver for getting that holistic view of the organization. The second area is to improve inventory planning and allocation. Now, obviously, there, there's two ways to look at inventory planning and allocation. One is from sort of the traditional sense of hotels have X amount of rooms as inventory. Passenger travel has X amount of seats they can fill. Transportation, you have X amount of cargo space that you need to fill. So it's really managing your expected space versus how much you have left and then how do you optimize the price. But when you look at hotels, res hotels and resorts, and to some degree passenger travel, there's also the food and beverage impact of it. So it's being able to manage how much food and beverage you need on hand ing and on hand ingredients. Because if when you look at retail as a whole, so retail, when you have an excess of goods, you can have a, a big sale at the end of the year. You can liquidate that inventory. When it comes to food and beverage, you can't do that. It has a finite shelf life. So it, it's, a, it's a sunk cost at that point, and if you're unable to actually sell or utilize it, then you're really just wasting money. So best-in-class organizations are taking a much stronger stance in improving this inventory planning and their inventory allocation visibility. The final area that we see for the best-in-class of where they're outperforming their competition is in improving demand sensing. So when you look at demand sensing, it's all about streaming of data, looking at the purchase behavior, how much occup your occupancy rates, and really becoming much or taking a much deeper look into that data in order to come up with your prediction of future demand. And for those organizations that do not have a good hold on their demand, then I think you know, they're obviously in, in a bit of trouble. 